Hey guys, how's it going? It's John from Creative Tap. Um, now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bend an object within um, Autodesk Maya. Um, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just create a poly cube, and I'm going to drag the scale out just so we've got something like this. Now, notice at the moment there's no subdivisions that I've added. So if I were to go ahead, go to, into my modeling um, tab, then go to deform, nonlinear, and then bend. Um, I've got um, some new tabs over in the attribute editor. So if I go to the curvature and start altering this, you can see that it's just like sort of squishing the shape, and that's not the effect that we want. It's, it's not actually bending our shape. So I hit Control Z to get back to normal. And what you need is you need subdivisions in there because it's not able to bend it um, without them. So let's go over to Polycube 1 and in the height. Oh, that's the actual size. Uh, in the subdivisions of height, let's give it a load of subdivisions. Let's say 24. Let's go with that. Now, if I come back to bend and now alter the curvature, you can see that this is bending nicely. Okay. And just to kind of illustrate what these low, ba low bound and high bound settings do, if I alter the low bound, you can see that our, you can see this little line, this purple line extending. It's basically where the stop off basically where the cutoff point is. Do you want to bend it on just one side? Well, bring this all the way up and it'll bend as far as that um, sort of line goes. So if it was longer, it would bend all the way around here, but it's not longer. Okay, so let's put this back to about minus one because I think that's its default. Um, yeah, now same with the high bound, you can do the same here. So you can almost have it bent at kind of whatever kind of you want and then alter the curvature. Okay, so it just bends around that point maybe. Anyway, um, that's it, you can, you can, and you can do that with um, any object, really. Um, with more complex shapes, it can get a little bit um, hectic and crazy. Um, that's how you use the bend deformer inside of Maya to bend shape. You know, if this was, um, uh, I don't know, a handle on a sword or something, or if, if you just needed a sort of curved shape, this may be one of the easiest ways to um, create it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, see what uses you can find for this, and you know, it looks like a little, maybe a little Pac-Man or something, eating something if you were to animate that. Um, anyway, cheers for um, tuning in, give us a like or comment what you want to see next, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and check out our other tutorials, but cheers for tuning in, and I'll see you again.